Hi, I'm Spencer White with the Benzinga News Desk. I'm here with Benzing editor and recent er, resident WWE aficionado, Jason Chibnall. We're here to recap this weekend's WrestleMania 33. So Jason, uh, what did fans experience this weekend? Yeah, I know we saw a little bit of everything as we always do at WrestleMania. Retirements, re surprise returns, uh, a lot of big high spots falling off ladders, that kind of stuff, you know. Stuff the casual fan loves, people like me love, it may, it may deter some, but it may also, you know, capture another new set of fans, especially little kids, um, you know. But uh, the one drawback especially was the timing of it. You know, this is the second year in a row. It went almost six hours uh, in length from start to finish, which, you know, for a big fan like myself, that can be kind of fun. But at the same time, you know, we don't want to be sitting on the TV for six straight hours watching, you know, the same stuff, you know, over yeah. and over again. But, uh, you know, all, overall it was really fun. You know, The Undertaker, who's been around for 25, 30 years, he actually had his last match ever. And that's all anybody seemed to be talking about that night and the following morning was, you know, hashtag thank you, Taker. And so um, it's pretty incredible that a 52-year-old guy can keep going like that, but, you know, he still puts on a good show. So besides the surprise of, you know, six or seven hours of wrestling, were there any other, you know, unforeseen events at WrestleMania this weekend? Yeah, so it was rumored that, you know, the company's biggest star, John Cena, was going to finally propose to his girlfriend over the last few years. It's something he's never wanted to do. He's never wanted to be married again. He's never wanted to have kids. And so... After his match, he you know he had a fun little speech for about two minutes, and then finally dropped to one knee and pulled out the huge ring about the size of my thumb, I would say, um, and proposed to her right there on the spot on live TV. His mother was in the stand, so it was a pretty cool moment. Even you know, if you're not a huge fan of him or of wrestling itself, it was pretty cool to see. And he actually was on the Today Show the following day, um, along with Nikki Bella, um, to talk about their engagement and what life holds for them in the future. You know, he's actually going to be stepping away from the ring for a couple of months to film a new movie for next summer. Um, it's one of his first starring roles, and so he's following that Dwayne Johnson, that rock path of uh, post-wrestling career to uh, another huge career in Hollywood. Cool. Um, so, you know, fans obviously, you know, it sounds like they had a great time. Um, how, what did investors see over the weekend uh, following WrestleMania and the post-WrestleMania press conference? Yeah, so the, the stock typically sells off about 6.5% over the last three years because p some people might not be encouraged too much by the network subscriber number. Um, but this year, it's actually pretty flat on the week so far. Um, they, they announced about 1.9 million subscribers, which is just a tad below the 2 million number that a lot of people thought they were going to announce. And the, uh, the company generated about $14.5 million worth of revenue for the event itself, which I believe places it about second or third all-time in terms of you know their all-time biggest gates. And so um, they try and make it bigger and better every year, and this was definitely another case of that happening. Awesome. Thanks for watching BZTV. For more on the WWE, subscribe to BZTV on YouTube and check out Benzinga.com. Thanks for watching.